Hey guys, and welcome back to another Warframe 2024 playthrough episode. Last week, if you remember, we did a ton of Sisters of Parvos farming for the Hounds, so we're starting to collect our companions now. And we managed to get all three of those after a considerable amount of time, uh, longer than I wanted. So this is the last one that we needed, and you can see before that the amount of duplicate Hounds that we actually got. Kind of ridiculous. Um... But yeah, we also got some other cool stuff as well. Obviously, we've been collecting the tenant weapons alongside, so not all in vain. Um, and we've got only two more tenant weapons to collect from the sisters. So we've got the uh, the Ferox and the Tetra, which we still need to get. I believe the Ferox spawns at the sist with the sisters and not through the um, the Void Key system. If that's what they're called, Corrupted Hollow Key. That's what they're called. Um, but I'll double check that. Uh, but either way, I think it's worth us just maybe finishing off gathering up the last two tenant weapons this week. And then that's something that we can just tick off our list straight away. That's then done. Um, but we're going to need to get some more platinum before we can kind of um, finish... I don't know. Yeah, getting all of these companions. I kind of neglected the fact that we'd need more platinum to get the slots we need. Uh, it looks like one of our Kavats or Kubrows has been incubated. Let's just see quickly what's in the way of... We already have a Curass, so that uh, that incubation went very poorly. <laughs> uh, can I access it from here? That's kind of weird. No. Hmm. Bit strange. I'll look into that, but uh, apparently, yeah, I can't ac actually access this. Okay, there we go. Weird. Lotus pattern, maybe? Really? Curious duplicate. Right, we'll let her incubate for a bit. Um... I kind of want to be able to access this though, because I want to see if I can mature her and whether she's going to keep that pattern. Uh, do I do it from over here? No. Slightly confused about what just happened there, to be honest. I, can't, I don't really know how all of this works anymore um but i don't have time right now anyway we'll, we'll ignore that so yeah i'm gonna get on and get the last two tenant weapons that we need and then we will push on with getting the rest of the robotic stuff so we'll get all of the mowers together that we're gonna need from venus and we'll get all of the sentinels together as well um and we're gonna as before leave primed uh components out so the uh, shade prime and the death cube prime we will leave to one side carrier prime all that stuff we'll just focus on the non-prime stuff first so yeah let's crack on all right guys so our last lich is now spawned in the uh the ferox we actually do get from uh, the corrupted hollow key shop so it's just the tetra that we need to get from the sisters so this will be our very last sister of this playthrough thank god. Uh, but in the meantime, this alert has come up uh, to capture the infestation. I should have probably pointed out that obviously it was Tenocon over the weekend, so there's a few things going on with that. We are not and have not bought into the uh, the relay, the Tenocon relay. Or we did not buy into the Tenocon relay, at least, anyway. Uh, as I said, we're doing this playthrough completely free of charge, so I've left that to one side. We are just doing this free to play, so no telecon relay. We also have this central wall that we can run around, but you know, I'm not sure what benefit that's going to serve us right now. I don't think there is any extra benefit, so I'm just going to quickly do this capture mission right here. Should be very quick and straightforward, and then we'll get this crafting. It's been a while as well since I've actually done any of the Deep Archimedia missions. We probably should have been doing those as we've gone along, but I've been kind of trying to focus on gathering up all the different components and things we're going to need to rank up. There we go. I should also probably be checking Teshin as well in case there's any Umbral Former in his shop.
Nice. There it is, our Umbral Former Blueprint. Let's get that crafting now. Oh, I didn't even know that was a challenge for this week, but hey ho, that's done as well, I guess. Not ranked up though, so we're ranked 27 now. We've got plenty of other missions we can be doing as well, and we've got some that we can recover. Complete an Archon Hunt. Yeah. Should be fairly straightforward, I think, and then we can get this other Umbra former up here. And there we go. The last sister we need to get. And that's our Tetra. Uh, so we should now focus on the remainder of the robotic components that we're going to have to get. So you can see if we just go over to uh, modular right here. I've got all four of the uh, mowers crafting right here. And then I've got a core, a gyro and a bracket that we're going to put on each. Uh, so we've got to craft four of these. They're going to take 24 hours each. Hopefully I can get all of these done by the end of the week if all goes to plan. Uh, but either way, we do have the materials already and lined up to get them built. So we can tick mowers off of our list now as well. Uh, so the only thing that really remains is sentinels. So if we take a look at our profile right here, and we go over to robotic, uh, the only sentinels that we're missing, non-prime at least, is Jin, uh, Helios, and Nautilus, I believe. So Nautilus is one of the hardest things to farm in this game if you don't want to obviously just do it via the platinum route, which is what we're going to do. Because in my opinion, it is way faster to farm Nautilus just by farming up the Platinum. Helios and Jin, we can go ahead and get from the dojo, which we should now have finished, hopefully, crafting. So let's pop down to our dojo. All right, so Helios we can get from the Energy Lab. There we go. So we'll replicate that. We just need a few more Fieldron. So we'll have to do some invasions. I think the same can probably be said of Jin. We're going to need to get some more mutagen mass uh, so let's go to the bio lab i can't remember how many we need oh six so we need four more mutagen mass and we need four more field run that's nice and easy to remember all right let's uh, have a look then and see what we have in the way of invasions Right, quick intermission. Thought we'd just... Oh, I did not mean to do that on public. Get me out, get me out, get me out! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, I'll leave. Hold on. Just doing the Archon Hunt this week since we do get a Nightwave reward for it and it is an... Or a Crimson, rather. Uh, with an 80% chance to be Tau Forged, so it's another basically guaranteed Tau Forged, hopefully. Well, let's hope we can resolve this. Ah. Come on. Nice. That was a close one. Wasn't really paying any attention to my HP. Alright, there's our Nightwave reward. And we get a Zoravan mod and our Tau Forged Crimson. Very nice. Nice. I missed everything. I missed everything again. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the follow to Moo. Any luck? No luck. 
I missed, I missed, I missed. No. No, 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 no. Yes. Come on. <laughs> One, two, three. I've been well, I've been well, mate. Yeah, not too bad. I did, I did start another playthrough. I'm at that point now where I have to gather up and level everything up. I have a problem. <laughs> Oh, this is kind of crazy how I have not got one of these yet. I got the Pharaoh literally on the first one, and yet this guy is just refusing. There we go. One, two, three. That's got to be a perfect. This is the one. The perfect capture will do it. That wasn't a perfect. What a joke. Still nothing. Oh my god, no. Come on. Good capture. How is that a good capture? Yay! Oh my god, I am out of here. All right, <laughs> holy moly. Oh, you, you though. Oh, come on. I don't know uh, how much this is a thing, but I saw a post on the Warframe Reddit page the other day, which was about on the China on the China server. Like everyone just uses Wukong and nothing else, and just like cloud stomps missions. Which I guess is fine, but I'm just curious as to why. Port is out. Map exploit player. Huh. Does anyone know what he means? I'm guessing he thinks I went out of bounds. <laughs> Does he think I went out of bounds? Is that what he thinks? crashed into a wall does that count so you could actually use it broadly across most missions and still obviously get the the distraction benefits from it oh is this all it is we found the mirage again i need i need this build <laughs> i'm gonna get this build this playthrough i think i love this guy his parkour speed is second to none 
Oops. I've got to try and beat him. I'm going to beat him. <laughs> no! Aha! I can fit through small spaces. Still didn't beat him. He did so much damage. He's so fast. There we go. Is he in the chat? Rock on. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I will definitely go about doing that in the future, for sure, because that shit looks so fun. Alright guys, so stream over. She got quite a lot done, considering. Um, so we now have all of the sort of Panzer and Praedocyte variations that we're going to need. We just need to make the mutagens and the antigens that we're going to need. So you can see here, we're going to need basically six of each of these. Um, I don't know whether... I'm guessing Ferment Bladder is going to be easy to get in this case. We also need Sporulate Sacks as well. Um, so we'll go out. We'll have to do a bit of fishing on Deimos to gather that up. So that's what we're going to do now, I think. Um, and then what do we need for the antigen stuff? Benign Infested Tumor, which I believe you also get from fish, as is this the case for Dendrite Blastomas as well. Um... So I've been having a bit of a think, and I've realized that a lot of the stuff that we're going to need for this is going to require, or is going to be much easier, rather, to farm with a resource booster. Um, so I'm just kind of considering my options in terms of what else I could farm whilst a resource booster is active. And I don't think there's much... But I know Kavat Genetic Codes is definitely one. We are going to need, obviously, a load of Kavats. So, yeah, we'll probably have to farm that up. Uh, I'm sure there'll probably be more that comes to mind soon enough. But I think I might buy another week-long one, uh, as that will carry us over to the first three days of next week's episode as well, when I'm sure we might need it. Uh, we also need Argon Crystals for getting our... Uh, power cores for the incubator. Uh, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that now. I think I think it's I think it's worth doing. Uh, we saved up the platinum for it. Obviously, we're going to need slots, but right now we just need the resources. So that's what we're going to do. All right, guys. So we have run out of time for this week's episode, and yeah, we've actually made quite a bit of progress again, just gathering up our companions and whatnot. Although I should have uh, got myself another power core. Can I do a random incubation now? I can. Let's do that. Um, so yeah, next week we'll just be continuing that work, I guess. Apologies, by the way, my voice is going today for some reason. Don't know why. Um, and what else? We're nearly at the point now where we can craft the last bit of the mowers. I will have that done by the end of next week. So I'll have all the mowers. We've got all the hounds. We've got all of the... Uh, sentinels that we need now so obviously we've got the full set of nautilus that's actually already on our inventory because we just bought it outright there we go um and i've also sort of set up the next stage which is going to be to get all the amps i think that's the next thing we want to do whilst we've got the resource booster and we can obviously mine for the materials we need get that done a lot quicker so that's the plan uh but yeah thank you for watching this week's episode if you did enjoy please leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you in the next one guys